Welcome. I'm Dr. Carmen McGinnis. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first visit, thank you for stopping by and I hope you'll subscribe. So today I'm going to offer some creative tips on how to fuel a lagging relationship. We're going to use the example of some imaginary clients, um, Bob and Sue. So Bob and Sue have been married for six years. They own a home, two nice cars, have a four-year-old son, Bob Jr., and they both have good jobs. The couple have sex about once a week and consider themselves to be happily married. What's wrong with this picture? Well, when Bob and Sue were newlyweds, they had sex every day, sometimes twice a day. Even before Sue got pregnant, they were down to twice a week. And then when Bob Jr. came along, they were down to once a week. And the couple have settled in there at once a week as a sexual pattern. According to a 2006 American Sexual Behavior Survey, couples in their 20s, like Bob and Sue, have sex every other day on average, while couples between 30 and 50 have sex twice per week, and older couples engage in sexual behavior only once per week. So we see that Bob and Sue are performing like seniors compared to the national averages. And there's certainly no argument that if this is the right frequency for this couple and if the sex is good, then they're doing great and should carry on. However, both Bob and Sue report to their therapist individually and together that more frequent sex is a desired thing for their relationship. And it's not surprising that they would like more frequent sex. The average man has 11 erections a day. The average woman reports that having sex makes her feel sexy and loved by her partner. A national study revealed that over 70% of couples value sex more than they do money in the relationship. Couples under 50 who have sex less than once per month are at a higher risk of divorce than are their sexy neighbors. Although Bob and Sue both desire more frequent sex and express this, both partners report that it just doesn't happen. So what's the plan? Well, many married couples report that sex dates helped them out of the, dol out of the sexual doldrums. Although it may sound naughty, it's all perfectly legal, and sometimes naughty is just exactly what a couple needs. Exactly what is a sex date? A sex date is like any other date. You have dinner dates, coffee dates, movie dates. Why not a sex date? Here's how it goes. You're at the office, working of course, and you hear that special sound that alerts you to a text from your husband. You might think, I wonder what's wrong, or he's probably texting to remind me of something. You dig out your phone to have a look, and whoa, he's written, I'm horny and thinking of you. Hmm. You reply, well, I'll be around later. I might be able to squeeze you in. Now you're cooking. With the start of a really nice little sex date, See, all perfectly legal and just a little naughty. At home later, dinner, dishes, tucking in Bob Jr., and a bit of TV will be a very different affair, maybe some flirting going on, that it might have been had no date been made. And depending upon where, where the texting went after the original flirting earlier at work, the couple might even try some new and interesting things in their sexual encounter or things they haven't done in years, maybe too many years. Sex dates can also lead to having sex at different times of day or in different locations, adding a new twist to the relationship. Let's say your mom is out of town and your response to the earlier text when you were at work is, well, I have to go water my mother's houseplants on the way home. Meet me at four on her leather sofa. Okay, maybe mom's house isn't appropriate, but you see the possibilities. Life is precious and life is short. 
The message here is don't let the passage of time and life's little challenges steal those special moments from your relationship. Try sex dates with your partner. I hope you'll post a comment afterwards to let us know how it worked out for you. Again, thanks for tuning in.